Hello my friends, my name is Flosky and today I decided to take another look at the Town of Us modded tier list for the patch 3.4.0. Yes, the 4.0.0 is right around the corner, that's what we like to believe at least, but since, you know, 4.0.0 probably won't make too many changes, they'll bring some rolls, but won't make too many changes, this tier list should still be relevant. I'm a sucker for tier list, so I decided to make another one, and also, the last one I made was 6 months ago, which you can find right here, except it's trash, so just keep in mind that it's not that good. I didn't have much experience back then, now I do, I've played this much more, and I've grown into some roles, so the tier list will be different, to some degree at least. Well, as you can see, it's going to be rated from S to Z, or F if you want to call the Z tier to F tier, and uh, I'll be basing them off how fun they are, and how good they are, and how easy they are to use. I'll also be explaining what each role does, so if you're completely new to Town of Us, well, you can learn here. So, let's start off the tier list with Altruist. Altruist is a crewmate role that allows you to revive a fellow crewmate for the co oh, not even fellow crewmate, just fellow dead person for the cost of your own life. Here's a couple things with it though, that you need to know. First, it takes a couple of seconds for your body to die, well you die immediately, then it takes a couple of seconds, then they get revived. That's one. Two. Every killer gets an arrow pointed towards the person you just resurrected. 3. That person has to make it to the meeting room to be able to tell the story about how they got revived and who killed them. 4. They have to remember who killed them. 5. It could be a jester, meaning they won't say shit. And 6. Well, it's very difficult to play any of these off. So, just because of that, and also people can just report like, as soon as you try to revive somebody, a different person can come by and report the body trying to revive, so you both die. It's super difficult to get value out of this, that's why I'm putting in D tier for lackluster. Next one on the list is the Amnesiac. Amnesiac is a neutral role which gets arrows towards dead bodies after a couple of seconds. Like, so after a couple of seconds, you get an arrow towards where the body is at exactly. It's very strong. And you get to pick the role if you choose to. So not only you know where the body is, you can easily run up there and report it and give information to the crewmates. You can also collect the role of the dead person to have a role yourself. It's extremely good. I mean, do I really have to say more than that to that? Being able to claim a role, like you can wait, obviously round one, round two, you can find bodies and then you can just claim or grab a role round three. It's really strong. You, most of the time you get more information just being a pure amnesiac than grabbing a role. The only problem is that you cannot win as amnesiac. You have to have a role. So yeah, it's an amazing role. Next one is the arsonist. It's been changed. Uh, pre previously, you were meant to douse everybody and then just ignite anyone and you win. Uh, now, you get to douse between 1 and 5 people depending on the settings and then light everyone on fire. So it just doesn't end the game immediately. Which usually it does, because dousing five people, like, managing to douse five people, even three people, and having them all live, and then being able to ignite one of those three to, you know, start the chain reaction, is really difficult. Also, the fact you have no protectiveness at all, so once you die, you know, you get killed once, that's it for you. Uh, you have the same cooldown as the killers, so you can go douse a killer and they just kill you in return, boom, you're dead, that's it for you. Nobody can carry your mantle. Yes, an amnesia can pick up your role, but you don't win with them. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a very lackluster role now, honestly. I mean, I wish it had something more going for it, but it's very meh. It's a very passive killer type of role. The only positives it has, it's very difficult to detect. That's literally it. It's super difficult to detect an arsonist. The only way you can detect them is like, oh, the slow killers or if a trapper catches them. That's literally the only two ways you can catch an arsonist. And even with there's like little killers, people, well, there's just some slow people, that, you know, slow killers out there. So even then, sometimes you won't be like looking for an arsonist. Or it could be a plague bearer for all you know, you know, a plague bearer taking its time to get everyone infected. So yeah, I think it's a lackluster role. It used to be much better before. Blackmailer now is the imposter role that allows you to silence people to however you please. Uh, you go up to somebody, you click blackmail, and then you're able to just silence them during the meeting. During the meeting, they won't be able to say anything. And that's your entire power. Uh, I'll put it on meh tier. Reason behind that is once you blackmail somebody, uh, they're hard clear from being the blackmailer. So you can blackmail yourself. So, you know, you're tightening down the range. 
uh, next round, they can easily be like, oh, who, like, people will be like, oh, who are you around? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, I was around this, this, this. And then they'll only have a couple of people, you know, that could be the black the blackmailer. So it's really easy to narrow down who the blackmailer actually is. So yeah, it's 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 C tier. Also, a lot of people like to blackmail their in partners as well. So there's that. So if th that strategy goes around a lot a lot in your lobby, you know, then people will be voting out even the blackmailed person, which is kind of messed up. But yeah, it's it's mad tier. It's not it's nothing special. Uh, detective. Detective is a crewmate role that allows you to do two things. Its passive ability is that once you find a body, you'll know how long the body has been dead for and what side that uh, that dead person was was on uh yeah it's very strong people sleep on this role a lot i think it's a really good role personally uh the active ability allows you to also examine people that's alive obviously you go to a person kind of like seer you touch them if they flash green that means they haven't killed anyone if they flash red that means they've killed somebody within the 25 second period uh that is a lot of information yes but i like ultra you have to find a body get the passives up but you, you don't die you don't sacrifice yourself but you get a lot of info i personally think detective is super slept on next one is engineer the crewmate role the only crewmate role that can vent uh the problem with that is if uh well the, like, let's talk about this active ability first uh the active ability uh you can fix a sabotage once per round or once per game depending on your settings once it even happens once people will be looking for an engineer and that is a problem because if somebody catches you venting people can easily guess you as an engineer or they can just vote you out because how many venting roles are there in the game like 90 percent of the venting roles are evil you're the only crew role that's good to vent obviously jester as well you can't really vote out a jester because that ends the game so people will also shoot Jester. But yeah, just if somebody catches you venting, you're obviously going to be under surveillance. And just you're going to be, you know, looked at for the rest of the game. Which isn't good really for you as a crewmate. So, uh, yeah. But the fact that you can vent and you can hide the vent and catch people, you know, killing. Uh, it's, 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 it's okay. It's meh, I'd say. It's really easy to... Actually... Uh, now I put on meh because really really hard to give yourself like if somebody like asks for your pathing you can't just say oh yeah I vented from here to there because like what you vented you know and then like if you're trying to say you're engineer imposters can take the shot and uh, it's meh. Next one is escapist it's an imposter role that allows you to mark a place and then after that you can teleport to that place where you've marked it's on cooldown it's S tier. I mean, being able to kill somebody in Spessy that teleport to like electrical, nobody will ever know it's you. Like you can easily be half across the map. You can kill somebody, two seconds later a body gets reported and then you're like, oh yeah, I just was in top right decom when the body's in weapons. Who will ever, who will ever suss you for being, for, for, for being the killer? Almost no one. Unless people already are looking for the escapist, which is already hard enough. It's an S tier. It's really easy to get value out of this. And it's really fun to do this as well. Executioner is a neutral role, which their target, which is a crewmate, has to get voted out for them to win. It's much more harder to win as this than Jester, in my opinion. Usually, executioners just win on a on a luck roll, where basically a crewmate gets pushed and imposter just help the executioner push that person without knowing their executioner. Uh, it's bad. I mean. It's a very mech class. It's like arsonist and uh, no, it's like arsonist. Like if you die, you know, then nobody can pick up your mantle. That is it for you. You're dead. You have no winning condition. The positive with execution, I think, is better than altruist. That if your target dies, you become an amnesiac, which I already put on amazing tier. So yeah. Next one is the glitch. The glitch is a neutral uh, killing role, which is all alone, but they have the ability to morph into anyone they want. They have the capability to hack people, so they can't use any of their abilities, and they can vent. If, if Glitch had any bodies, like outside of Survivor and GA, there would be SS tier. If there was two Glitches running around, it'd be an SS tier. But yeah, just they're really amazing. I mean, you know, Escapers, like Impulsive have two of them, you know, like Morphling, for example, which I will be talking about later. Uh, Glitch is all alone, so he needs all those uh, buffs to make it work to live, you know? But yeah, it's an S tier. Uh, next one is the Grenadier. 
Grenadier allows you to flash uh, in a certain radius, so everyone gets blinded, they can't see anything. It affects everyone except you and your fellow imposter, so it's really easy to go inside a room where there's a lot of people, flash, kill, and then like people won't know who did it. Obviously, everyone outside of the flash radius that wasn't flash will be cleared for being the Grenadier. So, it's kind of like Blackmailer, it's really easy to just tighten down the range of who the Grenadier is. I think it's a meh tier, I mean... Yeah, I mean that's all I got really. Just the, the reason why I just said that it's really easy to tighten up the range of who it is, who the Grenadier actually is. But it's also really easy to get kills while everyone's flashed. So yeah, I would say it's meh. It's, it's okay. Next one on the list, we have the Guardian Angel. The Guardian Angel, gameplay wise, is quite boring. All you do is put a protective shield for like, it's like on a 25 second cooldown, it lasts for 10 seconds or something like that. And it protects, their tar protects your target from any type of harm, you know, killing. Which is good, obviously, but you won't know if somebody attacks them, so you're just vibing, right? So, uh, if you get in partner, like, imp, imp, you know, target, uh, you technically have three imposters, which is super powerful, obviously. You can also clear your in partner whenever you can. If you have crewmate as your target, you got insta hard clear, like, both ways, so you have two good crewmates that you can work with. And uh, if your target dies, you become an amnesiac anyway, which is already amazing, right? So what you can do, if you see uh, your target being something really cool, you can just let them die and then grab the role yourself, if you want to be selfish like that. Another thing, Guardian Angel, if you die as a Guardian Angel, you still win if your target wins. It's a win-win in every situation, basically. I think it's amazing. It's an amazing role. It's almost the best, really, just because of how powerful it is. It's not as super fun, but just the amount of gimmick it has to the game, it's awesome. It's A tier. Uh, next one, we have the Haunter. The Haunter is a crewmate that died first. You have a chance of becoming a Haunter, which is a dead ghost that's like a crewmate. They can still walk around, they don't flow through walls. The objective is to complete all the tasks. Once they have one task left, all the imposters, only the imposters, get an arrow towards it. Once you finish all your tasks, you have to live until the round is over. Well, not get clicked, because the imposters can click you, only the imposters. So once uh, once you all have all your tasks complete, you have to hide until a meeting is called, and then you automatically reveal all the imposters to the, the entire table. So it's a dead giveaway, like imposters can't hide from them. Uh, it's a great role, it's, it's good. I mean, it's better to be a hunter than to be nothing at all, so obviously it's really hard to rank it. But there's a lot of rush to it, kind of like the snitch to, you know, not get clicked, run away quickly, make the good route, you know. So yeah, it's a good role. Investigator is a crewmate role, which, uh, well, it investigates. You are allowed to look at people's footsteps that's on the ground. They disappear after 10 seconds. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's much, not much to, to it. I, personally, I, it's between men good for me. I haven't managed to get much uh, much luck with it. It's really difficult to get value out of it, in my opinion. Because a lot of times if you follow footsteps, you'll just find a dead body or just nothing at all. So, uh, yeah, I'll put on the good. Just, just because I haven't managed to get much success with it doesn't mean it's not good. It's really fun to follow, uh, like, different footsteps and color and try and be this detective Sherlock Holmes, you know? to see who vented or who killed this body. Yeah, it's, it's a good role. I put on B. Uh, next one is a janitor for the imposters. You're allowed to, I mean, you can clear a body that you find. 99% uh, of the time you will be just sticking with your partner to clear the body they've killed. Uh, obviously the problem with the janitor is once the body uh, has been cleared and people notice that either doing meeting or on the vitals People will notice the janitor for sure and they'll be looking for somebody who's been sticking around with somebody else uh, But it's really fun I'll put on good just because it's so much fun to be able to clear people up Num 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 their bodies, you know get rid of it. It's especially effective the seven of you and uh, you know People don't check vitals too much. You can just clean somebody up and maybe people won't even notice that there's a dead body. Because usually people see if there's a dead body with the red, you know, it says dead on it. If everyone's just either disconnected, aka they've been dead since last game or last meeting, then, you know, people maybe won't take a look. There's, oh, there's a Jenner that just killed. I think it's a good role. I might, I might be a little bit biased here, but yeah, I think it's a good role. Next one is the Jester. Jester is a neutral role, which, well... All your, your your entire objective is just get voted out. I used to hate this role. If you've seen my video six months ago, you will know I had a deep hatred for it. 
But personally now, I've gone into it. I think it's an amazing role. It's really required for the game because otherwise the whole board would just be bloodthirsty for whatever right now. I mean, yeah, obviously you have the execution as well, but you know, execution has to have work to get their target voted out. Jester, on the other hand, they try to get themselves out. It's a gimmick. Uh, yeah, I mean, all they can do is vent, look sauce, that's it. I mean, I think it's, I think it's a good game balancer. It's an A tier. Having that fear of a Jester being in the game, not being on 100% because then everyone knows it's just every game, which just sucks. But just the chance of the Jester being there, you know, on like 80% or 70%, I like it. Because you have to be careful then. And it's much more satisfying to win Jester that way. Next one, we have the Mayor. Mayor gets extra votes during the meeting. Uh, you start with four, depending on the settings actually, but normally you start with four. And you get a vote every time you abstain and not vote. The problem with it is that if you abstain, people might just count votes and see, oh wait, this person didn't vote. Oops. Now we know there's a Mayor around. I used to call that out all the time, I try to stop myself on it because it gets uh, mayors killed, especially when I'm a crewmate. Um, but yeah, it's a good role, what can I say, it's a strong, really good powerhouse during the meeting. Yes, outside of meeting you're useless, but inside the power meeting, or power meeting, inside the meeting you are a powerhouse. So yeah, it's a good role. Medic, however, is an amazing role, it's almost the best. You, like, it takes very little skill, you just put, slap a shield on, that target cannot die anymore. Amazing. If they try and get attacked, you get pinged. Amazing. If you report a body, you know how long they've been dead for, and uh, if they're lighter or darker color. You know what? I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna put it on the best. I'm gonna put it on the best, actually. I'm gonna be biased with this. It's so good. You have so much value out of Medic for so little. It's the best, personally. Next one is the Medium. Medium is a May roll, personally. Uh, once you meditate or me me mediate, oh, I can never say that word. Once you use their active ability, uh, you get to see the re the most recent ghost. So you can go find the body pretty easily. The good thing with it, you can mix it up for like Amnesiac and Mystic. But like finding directly who the killer is, is quite difficult. Uh, you know almost throw what the timing is that's why i say you can mix it with amnesia and mystic because usually those roles will tell you like oh yeah this dead this body has been dead for this amount of time right but uh yeah you know i'll put on good actually i uh, know i'm gonna put on meh i almost changed my mind no, i'm put on meh it's not that fun to play as, as medium personally if you're capable to like figure out who the killer is by either the ghost leading you to the killer or by drawing a letter for you then yeah medium can be pretty good but, uh, yeah, I haven't found much success. I'm, I'm gonna put it on math. Next one is the Miner. Miner's an imposter role which can put down vents. Uh, on maps like Polis, you can hide them in places where they're not visible to a naked eye, but only visible to people who can vent because it flashes up. It's really fun to be a Miner. I mean, I'm gonna put it on amazing. Obviously, if there's a Miner and people see it, people will 100% try to shoot you as a Miner. Oh, we'll be looking for a miner whenever it's a vigilante or neutral killer might be looking for you. Yeah, I think it's an amazing role. I mean, it's really a lot of fun, but it's also very dangerous to put mines down. And it's also really fun to put uh, a whole network of vents, you know? But yeah, A tier. Morphling is an inferior glitch. I'll put it also in A tier. You grab a sample from somebody that's on cooldown, and then you can turn into that specific person you grab the sample from to frame them. You know, you can kill as them. It's an inferior glitch. That's the well, that's why I can say. Uh, Mystic. Mystic is uh, a crewmate role that uh, basically as soon as somebody dies, you get an arrow towards that person for a split second, so you know exactly. Well, not exactly. You know the direction they died in, so you can so you have an easier way to finding it, and you also have a really good way to uh, identify when the body has dropped. Uh, it's I think it's an amazing role. I mean, having the information on when the person has died like exactly can get you a lot of clears for like you can clear a lot of people the problem with mystic though however is people will most likely be shooting mystics rather than amnesiacs detective mediums etc so you're the biggest target you know if you give a timing prepare to get shot a tier next one is the phantom phantom is a evil role outside of imposter i'm pretty sure so evil role like jesters executioners etc if they die they have a chance to become the phantom their role is just to complete all the tasks they win as a ghost. Well, not as a ghost, but like a walking ghost. Kind of like the Haunter. Uh, also good role. 
I mean, the only the only uh, difference is that the Phantom get clicked by anyone, while the Hunter can only get clicked by the imposters. So winning as a Phantom is much more difficult. But once you complete your final task, the game automatically ends. Nobody wins but the Phantom. It's a very selfish win. So yeah, B tier. Next one, we have the Plague Bearer. The Plague Bearer is a neutral role which infects everyone. You can spread it to a medic, the medic can put a shield on, for example, the mystic, and then they both infect it. Once you infect everybody, it's on the cooldown, 25 seconds, I'm pretty sure. Once you get everyone infected, you become pestilence, which basically you become unkillable to any source other than voting. I think you might get killed by arsonists. I'm gonna test that out in a, in a later episode. Uh, but yeah, Plague Bearer is an A tier. Uh, the only reason it's not an S tier is because it takes such a long time to actually get there. It takes a really long time to get there. Uh, but once you become that pestilence, you can easily get double kills. A killer can touch you, kill them, then you kill somebody who tries to find the body. Easy double kill. Uh, yeah, pestilence is a lot of fun. But the only problem is it's really difficult to get to that stage. But yeah, it's an amazing uh, role, nevertheless. Uh, Poisoner. Like in my previous video, it was S tier, here is S tier again, nothing has changed, really easy value, you touch somebody, you run away, they just die, people will be thinking swooper, people will be thinking selfish, uh, selfish, self-suicide on the sheriff, or people will be thinking it's a poisoner, you know, I mean, it's really difficult to pinpoint that poisoner, basically, is what I'm trying to say, it's an S tier. Uh, next one is the seer. I was thinking about putting on Amazing, but uh, I cannot deny the power of this here. I mean, you just touch somebody and you see if they either are a killing role or not. If they're not a killing role, you can literally stick with them for the rest of the game. If they are a killing role, you just make sure you keep a tab on them. I mean, so much power in so little. S tier. Sheriff is next. Uh, it's a crewmate role that can kill. If they shoot a neutral like the Jester Executioner or a crewmate, they kill themselves out of guilt. Uh, but if they kill an imposter, well, it's a big plus. Even if they kill an imposter and they get voted out, it's still a plus. Because there's so many like less killers than there are, you know, crewmates. So if a sheriff gets a good shot off, that is such a, like, such a buff to the crewmates. But I'll put on B because it's a high risk high reward. Because if you fail, you're just a dead body. You just wasted your life and that's really bad for you and your crew. So yeah, I'm gonna put on good. Next up, we have Snitch. Snitch's role is basically to finish all their tasks uh, before the imposter gets them. Once they only have one task left, uh, they will become revealed to the imposters. They will get an arrow towards that person. And once they finish all their tasks, they have to live until a meeting is called. Once the meeting is called, the snitch will know exactly who both the imposters are. Uh, it's a very fun role. It can give you a lot of adrenaline, a lot of like squeamish moments, especially at the very end when there's one or even two imposters are chasing you to stop you from clicking that button and it's really it's quite difficult to get to the button especially if sabotage hasn't been called so they have a sabotage on standby the moment they see your arrow they will call sabotage of any sort reactor or lies just to stall for time and kill you but yeah other than that it's really it's really fun to play as snitch what can i say i think it's a good role because keep in mind the only imposters get revealed not the neutrals next one we have the spy the spy is a crewmate role which the only thing they get is that on the admin table they see exactly who is where it won't show up as the gray slash white no slash yellow beans they'll actually show their specific colors which is really powerful the only problem with the spy is is that admin table is one of the best places to do, like get killed at I mean, on any map, admin table is a really easy place to just get killed at, whichever place you, whichever map you think about. And to be uh, effective, you have to sit on the admin table, which is again problematic. Uh, I'm gonna place it in C tier since the ability itself is very powerful, but it's very limited. So I'm gonna put it on C tier. You also, well, if you're staying on the admin table the whole time, you're not doing tasks, you're kind of letting the crew down. And, well, in part, if it passes C on the admin table constantly, they'll assume that you are the killer. I mean, you are the spy. Excuse me. Uh, next one, we have Survivor. Survivor is also Prima. I mean, all you do is you just have to survive. So you usually just hide. And that's literally it. You hide and side with imposters 90% of the time. Your ability is basically you have a vest that you can put on which protects you for 10 seconds and that's it. So yeah, it's very meh, nothing special. C tier. Also it's a neutral role if I haven't mentioned that. They can save anyone. 
Uh, next one is super, super zest tier. Uh, you can become invisible for 10 seconds uh, and then kill while you're invisible. Uh, that's ridiculously strong for obvious reasons. It's one of the best imposters roles, if not the best. It's super easy to get value out of a visible super, as then you just don't appear in front of people like a dumbass. So yeah, it's an S tier. Uh, Time Lord needs to just get removed, in my opinion. With the rewind mode, or the rewind setting on, like when you rewind time people get revived, that breaks the balance of the game. And if you don't have that on, you're basically an imposter. An imposter should be called the rewinder or disruptor, because all you do is prevent crewmates from doing tasks and screw people over. So yeah, Time Lord should get reworked. I don't think it's a good role by any means, unfortunately. Tracker with the default settings is absolutely horrible, but if you mesh up the settings a bit, give it like a 10 second cooldown giving arrows so you can put two arrows down to people uh, and uh, the arrows reset every round so you know at the beginning of the round you put on two people you run around and then you know you get information from those two arrows of where people have been at it's very helpful uh, I put on B tier I think it's also slept on but because well the default settings absolutely suck for the tracker so I don't blame them or my past self six months ago that heated on this role because it sucked ass but now it's much better in my opinion i think people should give it a more, more try you know more, more of a chance should i say trader uh it's my trader is a crewmate turning imposter if there is five or more people alive and both the imposters have been eliminated uh it's really mad what's your crew like this far in turning into imp side can be really annoying especially if there's hard clues already and can be really difficult like most of the time when i became trader it screwed me over than more than it helped rarely i can remember situations where i become trader and it helps me so yeah i think it's very mad transport as well i mean you transport transports with two people around during the game uh so location of two different people don't have to be yourself it can be anyone if you touch a veteran you will die like if you transport a veteran it's an alert you'll die if you transport a pestilence you'll also die and it's it's hard to gain value from the transporter without revealing yourself as the transporter so yeah i think it's a meh role trapper i mean it's an s tier role it's much harder to get uh what you call it it's much harder to get um oh god uh, it's much harder to get information and value from the trapper because you have to be around the trap and you have to figure out who's been around what area without looking too suspicious to wonder where they've been at exactly, you know? If you just ask for a singular place, people might just look at you like, oh, he's a trapper. Been there, done that. So, yeah, it's much harder to get information as the trapper over the seer, but you cannot deny the... The power of the trapper and uh, what the trapper does he puts down a bear trap which is on a 25 second cooldown anyone who walks into the will be tagged in the bear trap so once the meeting is called if there's been enough people step in it usually it's two or three people uh it will show you on the message board like hey th these people or well these roles went through your trap it won't tell you exactly who it is which is why you have to be around the trap to like look around and see what people what two or three people went through the trap and then see and guess which one of those are you know bad or good for example if like a mystic amnesiac walk through your trap right you know immediately like those two people you saw with you are 100% good so you don't have to worry about them anymore and yeah trapping has incredible amount of information but it can be really difficult to utilize but it's still s tier uh, undertaker you can it's an imposter role that you can kill and then drag a body it does not have a share cooldown like the janitor does and it's really fun i think it's a good role especially on maps like polis and airship it has a lot of uh, spots that you can hide the bodies in obviously if somebody catches you dragging a body you are done for there's nothing you can do about that you are caught red-handed because there's nothing else that can move bodies like that so yeah undertaker is a b tier in my opinion uh veteran is a reverse uno card for the crewmates like i said uh six months ago in my last video it's an s tier it's still an s tier i mean anything that touches you while you're on alert you kill them it's it's basically a safety net for you you want to go do a, a download or go to electrical doing lights out you can pop alert and nobody can touch you if somebody tries to touch you which 99 percent of the time will be the killer you'll kill them it feels so good to go to electrical put up an alert and then kill somebody who's trying to sneakily kill you veteran is amazing it's an s tier vigilante on the other hand unfortunately is not it's a meh 
it, I wish Vigilante had a double shot mechanic like the Imposter do because it's really difficult to land your shots correctly as the Vigilante. If the Vigilante had a double shot, I would bump it to good or amazing. But because they literally have a single shot and there's so many rolls to guess and so many people to guess around, I'm gonna have to give it a meh. And last but not least, the Werewolf. The Werewolf, um, if we're talking about just pure effectiveness wise, I'd put good or amazing. But combining with how fun it is, I'm gonna put an S tier. It's so fun killing four people in a single round. Even if, you know, it's not really, what should I say, uh, it is effective, but it's not beneficial for you, since, you know, if you kill four people in one area, a lot of people in different areas can clear each other, and then you're kind of screwed. Like, oh, uh, I was, uh, alone. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. So this would be my tier list. I don't think I would change anything about this. This would be everything. Uh... Yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have your own TLS and opinions, please post them below. And uh, also like and subscribe if you don't mind. I really want to get to 100 subscribers before the Christmas, not before Christmas, before New Year's, let's say. And I recorded this like six or seven times. My voice is screwed. I'm so tired. So if you could like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas onwards. See you guys. Take care. Bye.